Hello guys. The space freak. Come back out with another video. Today's video will be on how do you know if your third eye is open? So first off, let's start. What religions practice the third eye? Well, it go it's been around for thousands of years. It's been around since ancient Egypt and it's practiced in Hinduism and Buddhism. You will feel pre pressure in the middle of your forehead, headaches, extreme head pain. You might even feel like you're overthinking. You'll be sensitive to light and colors. You will be very sensitive to light and colors. Not just, not light, but more colors. You'll be sensitive to different colors you see. And whenever you look at your phone, you look at the clock, you look at your, look on your computer, back on the license plate, you see certain, certain numbers. You look on the clock, you'll see numbers like 1111 and 333. And two 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 one one one. These are numbers. These are called angel numbers. These are numbers from your. These are angel numbers. This means your spirit guides are trying to contact. Are trying to contact you. Your spirit guides are trying to contact you, and your ancestors are trying to contact you. It means. It means you are doing something right. You are on the right path. You will have a better perspective on your life. You won't want to watch TV because, and TV closes the third eye. TV, so if you watch more than five hours of TV, your third eye is probably closed. And definitely the news, you'll be able to, the news is mostly fake. CNN, Fox, NBC. It's all fake. It's all... And you can see right through it. And you'll see the rabbit hole you're being dragged down. You'll... You'll see right through the news. You will see right through all of the lies. You'll see... You'll see through all of the lies. When you descend to the fifth dimension, there is, there is no going back. There is no going back. You will feel other people's energy. You will feel like other people's energy and their vibration. Like you'll feel their emotion. You'll be able to feel like You'll be able to pick up on other people's energy. When you go out in public, when you go to school, when you go to work, like, you'll be able to pick up on animals' energy. When people are eating meat, or they are eating meat and all of that stuff, stuff you can pick up on, on, on the dead animals they're eating. Because meat closes the third eye. And you will want to, and that's another thing, you, when your third eye opens, you will want to eat greens and fruit. You are going to question people, like, why are they so rude to me for no reason? Why are, well, why do they, why do they look at me like this? Why do they look, look at me like that? You want you will definitely fucking question reality. Once you fucking open your third eye, there is no going back. Motherfuckers talking about how they can go they can close it again. Once you open it, if it closes again, it's gonna open. It never closes. It never ever closes. You will you will also question reality. This is what I mean. You'll you'll be very suspicious of everything around you. Surroundings, like I am right now, and definitely, if you are black, melanated, Hispanic, if you are melanated, black, 
or have any dark skin. Melanated people, you are multi-dimensional. You are a star being. This third eye, it's, it's been around for, in, in, in philosophies and religions for thousands of years. They have hid it in reality and tried to make it look demonic. Because when you don't want to open your third eye on evil intentions. You want to open it on good intentions of loving yourself. Because when you open your third eye, it will change your life. It could traumatize. It will traumatize. It might traumatize you if you don't have the best intentions in mind in your life. You could be traumatized. In your third eye, it could backfire on you. When it backfires on you, bad things start to happen. Things just start to happen. <coughs> and everything just starts to fall apart. But if you open it with good intentions, with loving intentions, you, you, uh, you will ascend to a higher dimension. You will be, you will be one with the cosmos and the sky. The stuff they're saying and doing in the news is hurting us, keeping us asleep. You will know, you will see through the lies. Also, when your third eye opens, your higher self, you will be connected to your higher self. You will know. You will know. And you will also be kind and loving to everyone. You'll, you won't look at... You won't look at females for their <clears throat> body. You'll look at... You'll look at their face. You'll, you won't be looking at her ass and her tits. You'll be looking at her personality. Instead of thinking now how fine round and round and big they are you're gonna think of how big her personality is and how kind kind she is and you'll just be kinder to the people in general if you see them see them doing something you'll want to help them you'll just want to join in and help them you know you you'll just you'll be You'll also be more powerful and you'll also want to spend more time in nature. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if this video helped you. This is the Space Freak. I am, I am done.